we call it a different level of work. Don't Shout out to Coach Danzig, our DB's man. coach, along with Coach Kelly. There was a spirited debate about uh, Jackson State would beat Colorado last year. Oh, ha, oh, oh, ha, oh, ha, oh, ha, big question. That's going to be the topic. Look at Carol's face. <laughs> That's the question. Would Jackson State last year, would they have beaten Colorado if Colorado was on the schedule? Who? 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 From what I've seen, from – from the Colorado team last year, oh man, this is this is a, a a huge debate could be, and I'm glad that uh Craig's face is like this, Cam's face is like this. And look at Laura's face back there too. She's like, oh snap, did you just ask that question in here? And he like, did you just ask that in here with these guys in here? Because you know what I'm gonna say. What are you gonna say? Nah, they would have beat us. Hell no, nah, he ain't gonna say that. <laughs> He really asked that question. All right, big hey Neely, you play you you play a game, Neely. You know what you're doing, Neely. Neely starts some trouble. But nah, seriously though, you gotta know that Cam is gonna say himself that they're gonna win. Let's see what he actually says right here. No doubt in my mind. <laughs> no doubt in my mind what? But they definitely they definitely would win. Yes, sir. He's the one safety that you can say will start. Okay. He's saying, all right. Dre said, uh, yeah. Let me see. Let me see what y'all say in the chat. Y'all think that Cam in Jackson State would have beaten Colorado last year? Me, personally, from what I've seen on film, and I saw a lot of Jackson State and a little bit of Colorado on film, it would have been a tough game. But quarterback play and those athletes – Probably would have made the difference, but it would have, it could have looked a lot like the South Carolina game, that Celebration Bowl, because I think although they wasn't able to really run by uh, run in the Pac-12, I still think Colorado's line, offensive and defensive, overall was a little bit more superior than Jackson State's. Now, when you go to the skill positions, overall. You got to get at the Jackson State from the DBs. And I know some people at Colorado are going crazy on me right now. But some people, but Jackson State's DBs, and you see Bowden just ran a 4-3-1, six foot two, came over from Florida State to Jackson State. He just made himself some money. But them team, that team going ahead of the SWAC champions versus a 1-11 Pac-12 Power 5 school team, would Jackson State beat them? Great question. Last year, I think it would have been a close game, but I think Jackson State would have pulled it out. If, if Colorado don't just try to run the ball down their throat and 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 you know, and that's still iffy. So that's that's in the air with the with the guys that uh, Jackson State had last year. If everybody was there, unlike the bowl game, if everybody was there, Jackson State would have beat them. And watch the Cam was say, no doubt in my mind that we would have beat them. Watch him. We would have whooped on Colorado last year. <laughs> he said it. Uh, El Hombre Negro said Jackson State wouldn't beat Colorado team last year. Okay. No, sir. JSU D line was better than CUD line, and their linebackers were better too. Ooh, I know. Yeah, Jackson State linebackers were better. I say that D line was in the air. I say the D line, man for man. Uh, going against the competition they went against Jackson State D-line in the middle, in the trenches, Evans and them, they should have, and Williams, they should have been a lot better, I felt, uh, versus them. Now, if you put that same D-line Jackson State in the Pac-12 last year, I think they would have gotten ran over just as much as Colorado did. Now, you put that Colorado D-line in uh, the SWAC, I think they would have done probably just as well as, you know, they still would have been conference champs. I think they would have done the job that the Jackson State D-line did uh, at Jackson State. So, um, you got two different opinions here. People saying yeah, people saying no because of this and because of that. But I will say, if I had to put my money on it, who now, if I had to put my money on it, that's a different thing. <laughs> my heart would say Jackson State, but if I had to put my money on it, that team, uh, Colorado team, should, you know, just overall being a Power 5 school, having as much depth as they should have had, Although they were at the bottom of the barrel last year, Pac-12 and Power 5 included, um, you know, 
uh, from the talent I've seen at HBCUs and the talent I've seen at Power Fives, honestly, probably they would uh, Colorado would have lost. <laughs> I'm sorry, dog. They, they would have lost. They would have lost. I don't care about no HBCU. You saying that they're at this school or that school because of this, because of that. They would have lost if they would have played them last year. One and eleven in the Pac-12. Uh, looking at the personnel that they had um, versus the personnel that Jackson State had and the players individually and the coaching staff and the quarterback play especially and the linebackers, Jackson State would have pulled that out.